Hello, everyone, and welcome to RMD, All Things Aesthetics and Wellness Podcast with me, your host, Dr. Deborah Durst, my co-host and a couple guests. Faraday Golombieski, <laughs> nurse practitioner here at Revitalize MD. I am Rissa Staten with Revitalize MD. I'm a medical esthetician and laser technician. And back for the third time, I'm Mark Nayre with InMode, brand manager covering Tennessee. This is just the third time. Just we'll the third add time. Because just the Yeah, because we'll, we'll do other ones. There will be know. more. Yeah, there'll be more. But yeah, so Mark is with InMode, and InMode is um, the creator of some of our best devices. And yeah. so... We, Love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Absolutely. it's a great um, company. And what we're going to talk about today is a treatment that we've talked about before, Morpheus 8 or RF microneedling. RF microneedling is known by other names. Morpheus 8 is the... The gold standard. The gold. Oh, <laughs> look at you. I've been waiting to throw that in all day. Come so out. There's a gun, go. guns out. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Third time's charm. There you go. Had you had to, to stay for three just, yeah. well, to, I know. just, just to, to get that gold out. standard. Gold I know. standard. Yeah. That's right. That's the truth. So it actually comes on a couple of our devices, and we have Otiva over there. And that is one of our devices that has a Mor- Morpheus hand tip or hand piece. So, so basically this treatment in particular we're talking about is acne treatment with Morpheus and what that RF micro needling can do to acne and even acne scarring. But we're talking even active acne mm-hmm. and cystic acne, ice yeah. pig acne scarring. Yeah. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but with regular micro needling, you would almost be irritating the acne. If it was just that, would yeah. would you agree? Yeah, and spreading like Marissa. <laughs> yes. yes, we're like spreading bacteria. <laughs> yes, on active breakout. Yes, Correct. absolutely. And so, because you're getting that further depth of penetration, like we were talking about earlier, with the needles and that extra millimeter of heat profile, we're oof. actually that oof, <laughs> exactly, we're able to target indications like mm-hmm. active acne, cystic acne, ice pick acne scarring. Um, and, and what do you mean by ice pick acne scarring in particular? Just so, so that everyone knows. So that and maybe we can add a picture to the video because oh, yeah, it, it's yeah. easier yeah. to see Alan. and tell. Yeah. But um, basically those, you know, indentations on the face that okay. are left from acne from the past. Okay. Yeah. And so if you guys are listening to this on a podcast, there are YouTube videos of the same podcast. So if there's a visual we talk about that you can't see because you're listening, you can just pop onto our YouTube channel Mm -hmm. and search acne. And then you can see some um, either Mm -hmm. before and afters at the end or some uh, of the terminology and images that we're talking about. And the link should be in the bio. Yes. And so when we're talking about that, um, again, just so that people knew, like I, to me, that was a new concept for me that you Mm -hmm. could do a treatment with acne, active acne, yeah, because it's red, it's inflamed. You, you know, it doesn't and look like something you should bacteria. be treating. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there's like and like Marissa said, with the regular microneedling, you would just be spreading that bacteria mm-hmm. and irritating the skin that's already clearly irritated. But because those needles are going underneath, whether it's the ice pick acne craters or the actual active acne, we're able to pretty much disinfect the skin, for lack of a better term because we're using that heat energy to actually destroy from underneath. And so we're not causing as much irritation, just constantly sliding over. You're only getting that one or two actual needle tip penetrations. And even like the heating is in particular going to Mm -hmm. kill bacteria as well. And that's why you're not bleeding at the same time. You might Mm -hmm. have a few pinpoint, you know, blood spots from an RF microneedling device with Morpheus, but because you're cauterizing the skin with that heat energy, that's what's causing right. the destruction of the bacteria as well with the acne. Okay. Acne. Do they um, get worsening right after the treatment? Do they get what? Worsening of the acne? No, like, you no, know, some people will kind of get like an urge. Yeah. yeah. It shouldn't after that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it may, it may come you're to the surface. Not that, usually no. not. Okay. I don't see okay. whiteheads if that's what you mean. Okay. Pus pockets, no. It's usually just drying up and healing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pus pockets. Young. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. right. It's like, like, a the, term. like the yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was the one doctor, the pimple popper? Like, oh gosh. Oh yeah. That. So some people like that. Yeah, yeah. Not me. The pus pockets. Look, that's one of those. It's like a car wreck. You know, I just can't. Like I gotta watch it. Yeah. I can't yeah. turn away. I yeah. must not like car crashes. <laughs> it's yeah. like you know the, the rubber neck. I don't like. You know, everyone either. slows down oh, and watches. I know. I know. <laughs> I well, can't help it. I think, again, doing ER was not my favorite, like, you know, pimple popping or, in other words, abscess draining was not my favorite by any means. Mm-hmm. So, but this isn't the same. So, like, you have an, a red and 
inflamed area. It could be cystic. So it just looks like, you know, bubbles and inflamed and and elevated and it looks bad Red and irritated. Oh, yeah. But you want to get rid of it fast. And so that's one way that you can get rid of it fast is you can treat with RF microneedling, which is energy driven into the skin to kill yeah. the bacteria. Killing it from underneath. Mm -hmm. Along with way. very good skin care. Yes. I think that is so important. The combination. To important. reiterate is that you're not just coming in and doing a Morpheus treatment. You are doing a skin care regimen. Mm -hmm. Yes, a comprehensive. So, and even talking about that, before we get okay. into, so if we were to talk about what causes acne, so, you know, it's overproduction of sebum, you yeah. know, so basically you have oil production. Mm -hmm. And so the sebaceous glands that are producing oil in larger quantities, that's why people are a little more acne prone sometimes, but it also with the heat can basically obliterate sebaceous glands and prevent you know, over time, I wouldn't say one treatment. We're just, mm -hmm. we're talking about a series of treatments always. Series of three normally yeah. to start. And, and start. everyone's different, like mm -hmm. we talked about. So mm -hmm. it could be more. Won't be less, though. Mm -hmm. Always recommend at least three. Yeah, always three at least. And then if you're there but not completely there, then you add more to it. But that's a treatment series. Mm -hmm. And so one month apart again on yes, the face. with yeah. Uh, yeah. We're four to six weeks apart, preferably four, especially if it's active acne. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. And then you see yeah. stuff on the back too with yes, that. I do. What or other areas? Any? Um, chest, the buttock area, middle of the back, usually, and sometimes the shoulders, occasionally mm -hmm. the back of the neck, occasionally, but obviously the cheeks and chin area, especially with the cystic acne. So when we're talking about skincare with that, then obviously you want skincare because even packing in those dead skin cells and putting the wrong stuff on is not helpful. No. So and what are some things? Not just face. Not it's just face. anywhere you're having acne. Yes. Right. <laughs> Correct. Right. And there's several different questions I ask. I want to know, are they, um, what products they're currently using first? Because if they're using a lot of heavy over the counter ac acne medicated products, they're over drying. So mm -hmm. probably what it's doing is blocking the skin, uh, drying it out on the outside. The, the skin's actually trying to produce more oil and it's just getting stuck. It mm. can't come out and there's more coming behind it. So first I'm going to ask those questions and we're going to do things to um, break that up. Morpheus is going to help the skin care. I'm going to probably put them on a gentle cleanser or an exfoliating cleanser. Zio's first pick. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to get a little bit more exfoliation there um, with the scrub according to how active the acne is because we don't want to spread bacteria. And then um, we have multiple products after that. Probably can use Daily Power Defense with a wisp of retinol. Um, probably wrinkle and texture, as well as All the CO acne control. She's talking yeah. about mm -hmm. acne control product <laughs> um, with benzoyl peroxide. But I'm going to ask first what they're using before I make all of these recommendations, because each person's you know treated as they need. Because mm -hmm. you have people who are compulsive. Part of the reason they have acne because they're yes. using over drying products. Okay, we're going to use a little bit more gentle products for them, mm -hmm. but that's okay. We yeah. have we have many options. Lots of different options, but definitely skincare is one of them because mm -hmm. sometimes it's what we're doing that's wrong that's making it worse. So controlling that oil is number one and yeah. foremost. Mm -hmm. and sometimes what we're eating. Have, I'm sorry. I was going to yeah. say, sometimes what we're eating as well <laughs> yeah. as skincare, too. Yeah. 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 So. I was going to say, we haven't even talked about post-care for radio frequency microneedling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, you know, from our standpoint, we usually recommend a gentle cleanser. Um, in combination with after the treatment, Aquaphor or something in that regard. What are y'all using? I would no. never suggest Aquaphor. Okay. Um, <laughs> never. Now she's nope. coming at you. No, no, that's good. I'm fine. <laughs> that's okay. She got me um, last. First yeah. of all, we're putting petroleum down into the dermis, mm -hmm. mineral oil down into the dermis, and you don't want that. You're going to create granulomas that way. So um, I would do the first 24 hours something very gentle. PRP, for instance, would yes. be first. Um, second, maybe colloidal silver. And after that, day one, there's things such as um, epidermal repair from SkinCeuticals or hydrating cream from Zio Skin Help to calm the skin, but promote healing as well. Mm -hmm. But gentle cleanser from Zio is the first one I would pick as well. But okay. very fragrance-free gel-based cleansers. Mm -hmm. But you want to be very simple for the next 72 hours, yeah. basically. And then after that, they could probably go to some of their skincare, but not the aggressive things like retinol yet. Mm -hmm. like or as she tells me, do not use your exfoliating cleanser. Mm -hmm. 
Do not. For one to two days. She drills that into me every single time. She says, do something gentle. You're I'd say like three. I'm like, better. Better. Well, better. Well, yeah. She'll say three days. I'm like, okay, tonight I'm good. She's like, more is better. Listen, you just obliterated my sebaceous glands and killed the bacteria. Now I just want to exfoliate yeah. it off, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, but then I yeah. wish I listened to her. Now you know why she gets red after all the treatments, That's it. right? <laughs> exactly. So I think speaking of like the silver, so silver is antimicrobial, antibacterial, viral, fungal, and, you know, in different forms in different places. But that, because again, acne is not only from overproduction of oil, but also bacterial infection, which is why we've talked about the heat killing bacteria and silver helps too right after. So if you're not putting PRP and I would encourage everyone really to do PRP with yeah. any radio frequency microneedling. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a simple blood draw in the office. We're spinning the blood down to get the platelet-rich plasma. Platelets have growth factors. And we're basically now applying it to microchannels with increased collagen elastin healing. You know, That's it. All, all those little needles it. are making all those wonderful little... Yes. channels micro channels in the face PRP. so yeah. utilize that to your advantage yeah. Yeah. at your mercy and let all PRP. those growth factors just soak in yeah absolutely and then those micro channels close very fast and so using that initially and then going to silver after because i mean technically they're going to close within 15 to 30 minutes you know Deep usually list. we say four hours you know but they're close faster than that so getting that prp on right after your treatment is very helpful at healing and boosted results and yeah. all of that. So definitely something to add on for sure and Absolutely. improves. And again, most of the time when we see active acne, you know, cystic acne, active slash, you know, the ice pick, we're talking about scarring in addition to active mm -hmm. acne. Yeah. And so just that energy driven RF microneedling is breaking up the scar tissue too. So not only is it doing all the great benefits for acute acne, but it's also going to help with the scarring. Which is the and hardest so, thing to target. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. yeah. You just think about like anything you're breaking up. So even if we're kind of injecting and doing different things, the more that we're going underneath the skin to sub subsize, it's the same thing with the microneedling. The more that you're penetrating, you're creating injury that's going to stimulate repair and increase and collagen. Well, think about, stimulant. you know, when you were a kid or even now, if you were to fall and yeah. brush your knee, mm -hmm. then that new skin that forms over that brush burn when we were younger was a much quicker. Mm -hmm. It came back much nicer. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that is what you're doing. You're causing that micro injury yes. to get that new collagen elastin, that new skin and repair. And now this on top new skin. It. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. yeah. Not what we're repairing at. 40 or 50, but then we're going to yeah. get new skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about new prep? Yeah. <laughs> so prep for uh, Morpheus, so do the uh, RF microneedling. Retinols prior. Isn't um, that one you usually hold? I would love for them to use retinols before. However, before the treatment, I want them to stop about five days prior, especially if it's wrinkle and texture. A micronized retinol. Another um, reason why I'm probably so bad. <laughs> she never stops anything. <laughs> Well, there's no I one, don't want the wrinkles. There's, there's no one in done. <laughs> there's no one in done. I've I'm got, got a day. Yeah. <laughs> I've had clients stop three days prior, and I put the numbing cream on, and their skin burns so bad it's actually peeling from the numbing cream, and we've had to stop the, the treatment and not actually do it. So first of all, it's going to make it more sensitive to the numbing cream, which can be good, except for it can be bad because we may not be able to do the treatment because mm. um, their skin is reacting so much, and I have seen that many, many times. Um, but I would say stop the retinol about four or five days prior to the treatment. But if you're using it for six weeks prior to the treatment, amazing, even better results because you're making the cells turn over even faster. So you're gonna get better results. Um, if I want everyone to use a facial scrub, I want them to use it that morning. Anemic cream is gonna work better first. <laughs> Second, you're not gonna have any dead skin on the top layer. Um, if they even use something that is a, even more exfoliating like a glycolic acid, that morning, that is something that they would normally use. You're going to get more dead skin off. Numbing cream is going to work better. You're going to get a better treatment, more resurfacing, a fresher skin with that. Everything works a little bit faster that way. So is retinol the only product you're holding? Um, retinol is the main one I'm holding. Is it contraindicated with somebody on Accutane? Yes, I would not touch anybody with that has taken Accutane Within for the last, last year. 12 months, yeah, okay. Um, there is... Some places that are saying six months now, new indications, but I would mm -hmm. still prefer a year. Mm -hmm. 
or whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever, whatever. whatever you say. <laughs> Thank you. Years now the lower again. versions, yeah, yes. the lower um, milligrams of that Accutane, I would say maybe six months with your permission, but I'm always going to talk yeah. to you before I do that, yeah, but I would right. prefer a year. Yeah. Off the street. If Any other contraindication, Mark? Anything. I mean, like we were just talking about pacemaker. Mm -hmm. We, we prefer no electrical components in the body, but that's really it. Even implantable you know, electrical devices. Yes. Of any sort. Yeah. So, uh, you know, metal implants mm -hmm. are totally fine. Um, I think really even I wonder, um, like implants, though, surgical, previous surgical with the jaw. I think we've run into that a couple of times with maybe a chin implant. Was I've, it had, like a I've had jaw surgery and I've been able to have morphia. Okay. So, and I have about 200 screws across my face. Okay. Totally so fine why. to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that brings on another one. What about facial hair? So facial hair is mm -hmm. technically, yes, a contraindication <laughs> in the sense that I would need to shave before, but if I had just like, you know, five o'clock shadow or something like that, it would be fine. Okay. So, so it's not targeting pigment in hair and hair reduction, which is key. And again, I think that if you're having a procedure done in an office, you need to go in with your face cleansed, yes. ready to go, mm -hmm. treatment come area, prepared. shaved, come prepared. Yep. Again, sometimes you may be turned away because of they're not going to shave um, or it just takes more time to yes. prepare you. Why not come in ready to go? Well, I, yeah. I have one more thing. Long wearing makeup. Please don't. Um, Please don't wear it for yeah. three days prior to the treatment. Long wearing makeup, especially... Um, it's an Estee Lauder brand that is, uh, anyway, it's long wearing. It doesn't come off. I didn't know that existed. I didn't either. Yeah. Ew. What about your, your pores? It's not good for your skin. Yeah. Ew. It wears well, but again, it wears well. It'll wear you down well. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, I've I cleansed somebody terrible. five times and yeah. still didn't get it all off wow. prior to the treatment. So <laughs> don't. Yeah. I didn't know that existed. That's new for me. Hmm. Learn something. Yeah. So I basically, retinols are always good for your skin, you know, anti-aging you know, you can tell somebody that's used retinols for years because they have younger looking skin, period. Yeah. So retinol is always a good thing. Pre-treatment, um, definitely pre-Morpheus RF microneedling, five days before is what I'm hearing, three days after, right? I'd say five. So let's Ooh, go five, five and five. five. Okay, five, five and easy. five. Just make it easy. Five yeah. and five. Otherwise, it's always a good thing. And I that would actually keep that in mind with almost any work. procedure, potentially, right? Mm -hmm. Retinols, yeah. if you're going to, you just may react to anything they do prepping you and overreact to whatever the treatment is. So just keep that in mind. Always a good thing to use. Yes. Five days before and after probably is um, the time not to use retinols. Uh, on on almost all procedures, for the most part. I always and give instructions too. If after yeah. the procedure you're still red, have a burning sensation, swollen, which you shouldn't be. We should already know this by then. Mm -hmm. Don't on day five either. So there's yes. little things so, I say. And she can always tell when you've used it, even if you say you haven't, because mm -hmm. I don't react to anything that I do really. But if I do react, she's like, you used to rat all day. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, not me. Yeah, yeah right? no, not me. <laughs> me. Yeah. Never. Yeah. So I can't lie to Marissa because she knows. Yeah. But and for patients, we don't want you to, because we, like she said, you can have a very serious reaction. So yes, we, in all seriousness, yes, in yeah. all seriousness, we joke around. Tell us what they're and, doing. Yes. What you're doing. Be very honest. And again, they'll do what's right for you so that you don't overreact and end up really swollen. We've seen that before, too, mm -hmm. um, where somebody doesn't react right then mm -hmm. and isn't showing it. But then they overreact in the next 48 hours. So. Mm -hmm. So, again, I think that RF microneedling is what we're talking about. There's so many different treatments for it. It'll just resurface, mm -hmm. do fine lines, wrinkles, pore size, yep. lifting, kill fat in certain areas. Uh, stretch marks, which we've done another podcast for. So if yeah. you haven't seen that, you know, anyone that's had stretch marks, there's a great way to treat stretch marks that combines radio frequency, microneedling, Morpheus with another modality. And Fat then now acne, um, yep. the same thing. Yeah. And uh, scars. Hyperhidrosis. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's true. So if you have sweat glands that are overactive mm -hmm. and um, are having trouble, Treating those, that's another way. So yeah. are the treatments, because we haven't done a lot of that, have we? 
We recently mm-hmm. just did a Botox treatment for that. But are there any different, like any anything we need the to protocols? Alter? No, yeah. you'd be pretty yeah. much doing the same exact same thing. thing. Yeah. Okay, all so. right, too good. All right, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, from what we've seen as far as results, it's very effective. All right, and still a series of three to start everything. Yeah. Is here. Okay, and but not something that we see people getting a ton of treatments after for. Usually, yeah. once you get those sweat glands destroyed, they're destroyed. Okay. So again, so there it can't isn't hurt. like a maintenance. Yeah. You know, it can't hurt to come back in for maintenance. I always recommend it for any any procedure whatsoever, mm-hmm. as far as aesthetics and cosmetic and you know what we're doing here. But from what we've seen is once you destroy them, you destroy them. Maybe come in once a year, make sure everything's going. And obviously, the patient's going to tell you, or hopefully, if they're still sweating afterwards, then they yes. need more. So. Were you here when um, one device came in where it was a device and don't mention any device names? I don't even know if it's still on the market, but it only did st- um, sweat. So I don't know. So, I know. It was not so, here, but, but I know which one you're talking about. Well, this about. is kind of yeah. funny story because we were all in the IV. Th- we have an IV lounge here. And so we were all in it. It's like a group of like eight staff, like all women. And the guy shows up at the door to like show us the mm-hmm. the machine and he was going to leave because we were all having a meeting. And it's like eight women. You're going to walk into the room and talk about the machine, right? Sounds like my life. So we're like, yeah. 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 So we're like <laughs> come on in. Come on in and tell us. So Welcome you, to the line, man. So, yeah, exactly. I've been, I've been that guy before, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so he ends up in front and he's telling us all about it with, Huge sweat marks down his <laughs> arms. So anyhow, needless to say, we didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't buy that no. device. So anyhow, <laughs> but I think it was a funny story. So, but anyhow, so if you have anything, no, Mark anything would never do that have, because no. he no. would have used I would have. the Morpheus. Yes. Exactly. Right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you use what you preach. In. Even yeah. if you walked in, yeah, to that, he was going to be cool with it, right? Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. I would have hooked up to one of the IVs myself. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, I've done you that. definitely weren't going <laughs> to lift I, arms. No, you weren't going to be lift arms. No, I, I've come here for an IV from y'all. <laughs> yeah, enough for to be a model. Help me out a big guy. time. Yeah, and, and again, like, he always has a great personality, and we give every every man that enters the office a, a, a slightly hard time. Well, right? you give us a fair shot to prove ourselves, at least. Yeah, and we like having fun with that. And so he's always been gracious and very fun and can banter and take it. Yeah, we love it. Once the drinks start rolling, we'll see who can can take it and give it. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So, uh uh-oh, the target will be Faraday and myself, I'm sure. Correct. That's all right. (laughs) We're, we're, We're ready. You know, I'll defer to her or she defers to me or we're both, yeah. Yeah. Just and then Marissa has her yeah. quick one liner she nope. pops <laughs> off with. Yeah, she's set me straight at least once or twice today already. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, so definitely like, subscribe, share, leave comments, any experience you had with acne, things that did or didn't work, skincare that does or doesn't work. And if you want to hear something more, let us know share it with friends and we do really appreciate you watch watching or listening it helps us get you know information out there and helps us get more followers and so just tell us anything you want to hear more about because we're here to revitalize your look your health and your sex life thank you thank you